Sports at 5.30 starts now. New at 5.30, industry changes are making housing even less affordable, and the problems trickle down from contractors to property owners and then to renters. Our Laura Ullman investigates how changes in the housing economy could be affecting you. Riverlight Builders has been in the construction industry for over 15 years, but since the pandemic, they've seen some serious changes. Walls and ceilings are going up in a brand new home in Norwich, but contractor Deborah Bryan says the cost of building it is higher than ever. We saw the price of a two by four go from $3.50 up to $9. That particular item, it's leveled off, it's back down, but it's still about 50% more expensive than it was at the start of the pandemic. Brian says supply chain issues disrupted the cost of many materials during the pandemic and prices haven't returned to what they used to be. A workforce shortage of tradespeople also contributes to a higher operating budget. It's very, very difficult to find skilled labor, carpenters in particular. So we have to pay for it. With the low supply and high demand of housing, the cost of building or buying a house is becoming further out of reach. It's very hard to build affordable housing with costs as high as they are. Kathleen Burke with the Vermont Housing Authority says development is one of the most important strategies Vermont has in alleviating the housing crisis. And as we continue to lack it, rent soars. In the last year and a half to two years, we've seen rental housing costs increase on average of about 10% per year. And with this year's increase of property taxes expected statewide, rent will likely rise too. Burke is also concerned about money from the feds for subsidized housing, resulting in even less Vermonters receiving rental assistance. They're having to make choices. Maybe they're not paying their rent this month or maybe they're not paying their full rent so they can um, you know, buy groceries and, and food for their family. Back in Norwich, Brian believes the current housing market will be the new normal. Housing officials try to stay optimistic. I think it takes a village. I mean, and, and really um, in order to make a difference, um, we need to, we all need to be compelled to think about what we might do. Reporting in Norwich, Laura Ullman, Channel 3 News.